All right, so thank you. Thank you for joining today in the meditation, in the Infinite Way meditation that we do on Thursday, on Tuesdays. And um, so um, we st I will start uh, with some reading. Uh, there will be some music, there will be some silence. And this just to say, sink deep into connection with the truth of who we are. So all the things that happened and have passed away are gone now and um, your new day or your new life has started so the light has come is what we discovered the other day it's like the light has come there is a new world don't pretend that you're still in the old one because you're not and uh, this is great to recognize otherwise you you're still see, in the cage while you're actually not in it at all so this is this needs this needs practice to recognize oh my god yeah i'm not in a cage oh yes i i none of that is true all the limitations that i imposed upon myself are not my reality they are self-imposed i'm nobody's doing that to me so this is for you because you want to be free you want to so you step into that freedom yourself of just recognizing the truth of who you are. You don't have to make anything up. Your defenses are not working. And all this is like, whatever you did before, that was not working. That's all right. That was a meaningless journey. It didn't bring you anywhere. But today is the start of a new day where all that is reconfigured in your in your uh, say in your mind and don't deny it there's no need to it anymore so this is really the beginning of a new day and this is why we come together in silence to to not make up anything but to let truth be true and give that all the space in our consciousness so the words that I use today are from the book Living uh, the Infinite Way and I think it is. Oh wait, no, Consciousness Transformed. <laughs> so I, I read some of that in the other. So Consciousness Transformed, that's where this is coming from. And I made a, a prayer out of the piece that I'm going to read first to you. I made a prayer out of that so you can hear where it's coming from. And uh, Joel gives us specific instructions of things you don't have to do and um, things to realize. So that's, that's where I'm going to start. Since all that the Father has is mine, all that the Father has is included within me. And to pray for something would be like this tumbler praying for glass. You cannot pray aright without an understanding of the name or nature of God. And you do not have this understanding if you are praying to mental concepts of God, like all the things that, that were connected to the old world. In other words, if you pray to God who is spirit, or if you pray to God as mind or life or soul, your ignorance of the name and nature of God prevents the success of prayers. Ah, but to know God aright is life eternal. So you might as well decide to leave the Bible alone until you have fulfilled that one passage. No God aright is life eternal. Why is that important? Because without an inner awareness of that passage of truth, the rest of the Bible is meaningless. To know God aright does not mean to know another name or another meaning for God. No, it, it means to know God, to be aware of God, to be conscious of God to know God as God. Yes, actually to experience God. If we are to live the life of, of a contemplative, 
whereby we live by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God, then contemplation or meditation must be the means of our approach to God. Prayer, contemplation, meditation, the means for our approach to God. And since we have taken the passage to know him aright is life eternal, this must be the subject of it, of the contemplative meditation. Until a second passage of scripture projects itself into consciousness. If you continue long enough in knowing God right, I can tell you what the next passage will be. The voice will say, Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. After this second passage reveals itself to you, what kind of praying you do depends on how forcibly the passage enters your thought. Think, if I am God, this is already closer than breathing. And because we have discovered that its nature is omniscience, the all-knowing, it must already know our needs. Its nature is omnipresence, so you need to go nowhere to contact it. And because it is omnipotence, there is no power to oppose its will. All right, well, so this is, this is the summary, in fact, of the contemplative life. So it's like, this is one paragraph, all of it is in there. First of all, recognizing to know God aright is, it has to become an experience for you. To know God aright is an experience. It's not a concept. It is not a, just an idea. Or it's not a beautiful idea or anything like that. Like say, no, this is an actual experience. To know God aright. When that happens, Joel says, you sink into a, a different level of this, which is be still and know I am God. But that is also not a concept. So in fact, if you experience God, if you come to the place where you start to experience God, this is an, like also a facet of it, of your experience of God. Be still and know I'm God. It is the only thing that is, in fact, say, yeah, present in your experience. That's the easiest way to say it. It's like it's embedded in your experience. What else could you possibly want? What else would you want to do but to be still? But I'm talking about once you're in the experience of feeling the light and love of God, then that is part of it too. And it, those words don't even matter anymore. It will be your experience of it so it's like that happens automatically when you allow yourself to to enter in feel the presence and love of god allowing yourself to be touched by god to be say in fact what we said the other day too is like first you die within your humanhood give up all your ideas about past happenings allowing yourself to start your life new like giving this a new opportunity for yourself to come into a whole new experience, literally a new horizon that you're entering into. Still becoming still, still, still and leaving everything behind. Leaving everything for what it is. Allowing all that space to be in your consciousness so that can be filled with a new experience. This is the practice for today. So this is what we practice in the contemplation and the meditation that I'm going to say pull up on the screen. Um, and you can read with it because it, it holds these words, but then the instruction is taken out of it. So you have heard it. The only focus for you then, for me, in this, in this meditation, 
is to allow that to occur, to allow yourself to be touched by God, by the light, by the love, by dropping your defenses, allowing a new space in your mind, sufficiently slowing down your thoughts, not engaging with them, opening up your consciousness to be penetrated with light and love. It's really like that. So breathing helps, releasing helps, like whatever you can release. You don't have to behave a certain way or anything. It's like, no, this is really your workspace. You enter into this, you release as much as you can and feel whatever you feel. Pain, uh, loneliness, darkness, whatever. But you allow that to feel that to the bottom of it and you will not escape it this time you're going to to let it come to you then it can change you don't do anything with it you allow it to f to flow through your system in the meantime you sink deeper into your consciousness and going to the bottom of it so the the first part of the meditation is probably one in which you feel that you're sinking in deeply into your consciousness it's like a free fall into the depth of you and then when that happens suddenly there is more a more spacious place that opens up by itself you don't have to do that so this this is just some instruction some some kind of guideline guide yeah guiding guidance just to to get the best out of this you know, to use it very specifically so here we go all things that the father has are mine all that the father has is included within me within you To know God aright is life eternal. Inner awareness of that passage of truth. That's what this is about. Inner awareness of that passage of truth. It means to know God. To be aware of God. To be conscious of God. To know God as, to experience God, to know Him aright is life eternal. Be still and know that I am God. All things that the Father has are mine. All that the Father has is included within me. To know God aright is life eternal. My inner awareness of that passage of truth. It means to know God, to be aware of God, to be conscious of God. And to know God is to experience God. To know him aright is life eternal. Be still and know that I am God. So to be aware of God is also to feel, say, to come into loving God with all of your heart.
So all the thoughts of ignorance and doubt can just go. You don't have to do anything with them. So you leave them for what they are. This is all about sinking deeper into yourself. To know God aright. To open yourself for the experience. All your reservations, all your concerns, all your defenses, all this can go. Everything is allowed to come up, but you're not going to do anything with it. And certainly you're not going to let yourself distracted by it. So stay right here. To know God aright. To enter into this still place inside yourself, you don't have to rely on your own certainty. So you have great help guiding you there. Don't forget to breathe, and breathe out a little bit longer than you're used to.
recognize all the subtle changes that are taking place in you. Now you're opening. you need to just move your body a little bit if you need to if you feel that it wants to move do it just allow that To know God aright, to experience God, to feel the love of God, your love for God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. To know God aright is life eternal. That's happening right now. Not some other time. It's happening right here.
So in the meantime, you sink deeper and deeper into your experience. If you need to die some more, you first die some more. To know God or right is life eternal and it's happening right now. It's happening in you. So see the subtle changes in yourself. See how things are opening up. Go there with your attention. Still keep releasing whatever you can. And keep breathing. To know God a right is life eternal. It's happening right now. It's happening here in you.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.